I had heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye sees you. Therefore I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. Temptation is everywhere you look. You must resist with all your might if you are to earn forgiveness, not only from your dear aunt, but from God, the Heavenly Father. Disgrace to yourself and the company. Are you willing to accept this fatherly image? I am. Oh, Ow! my dear lady, please forgive me. I am not your dear lady. I see Mr. Colborne has returned from Bath. They say his niece, an orphan poor thing, inherited a small fortune from her parents. You'd do well to stay away from that man, Miss Markham. I have been warned about you, Sir Edward. You have quite the reputation. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Was that Mr. Colborne's niece? You'd better have a very good reason for talking to her. Another lucky encounter, Sir Edward. I admit. I intended to call on you. I'm no longer the man my reputation suggests. What you say is true, that you really are a changed man. Prove it. Since your soul is just... These past few days, I found myself preoccupied with a certain person. You said it was of the utmost importance you made of me. And did you say? Do you find yourself struggling to think of anything but her? For what reason? To walk with you. That's all. No man is redeemable. Sarah. Edward. Mr. Colin, so there is something I must ask you. That you will allow me the honor of calling on your niece, Miss Mark. You are the last person on earth I would allow to call to Augusta. If there is a way for us to be together, I will find it. You are the only person I love in this world. I need to know if you truly meant to when you asked me to rescue you. Entirely. You do love me, don't you? How could you ask me that? I've never been in love with you. I cannot wait to be your wife. Did you really think that you would somehow be the one to redeem me? We are resolved to be married, sir. And I would do nothing to stand in your way. I always put myself first. Ask Esther. Ask Clara. Ask my son. Edward is a good man. He has treated me with nothing but respect and kindness. Even if he is unworthy. What she feels for him is real. Why did I let myself fall in love with him? All well, your efforts aren't. Seems that I'm quite irredeemable after all. And I assume this means your plan failed. Mr. Coburn caught up with you before you could ruin his niece. As a matter of fact, he offered us the opportunity to marry. But Miss Markham came to her senses. No. It was I who declined. A good man would not steal you from your family for his own ends. Why? Because she deserves a good deal better than a man like me. Could it be you actually felt something for her? Of course not, aunt. You know me. I'm capable of feeling. 